Aviance, what's your strategy for your business? Uh, my strategy Chasing is... map fields. <laughs> oh, leave me alone. All right, no, I'm not going to. <laughs> okay, well. You waste time. Working on my, um, we're working on fizz balls, working on inspired, and working on flips, I'm sorry. Okay, so those are the attitudes, I mean, those are the actions you're gonna take, right? But what are the strategies for those? Um, my, my strategy is to make calls. My strategy is to make calls, get in Okay, so how many calls have you made in the last week? <laughs> the last week? No. How many calls did you make yesterday? No. Okay. See, so you see where we're at? Yeah. I have to get you to move from just having an idea to taking right. action. Right. That's, that's how transformation works. That's what coaching is really about. That's how you get unstuck yourself or you get someone to make a decision. I have a question. So basically, think about what we do every day regarding the real estate business to better ourselves. Is that what you're saying? And how did it make us better? Yeah, but ultimately it should be really with your life in general. Because if you and keep going all the way back to the real estate, in your business, you actually really, if you keep going back and back and back to where it all starts, where does it originate? It originates with, yeah, it originates before you go to bed, when you wake up. It originates with the idea that you have, what you really want to accomplish, why are you doing it? That's why I said when we did um, The Abundance of Expired, the first thing is it's always about why are you in real estate, right? What's your purpose for being in real estate? How much money do you want to make and why? Because that's going to dictate how you approach your business and your whole life. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. If someone's just chasing income, like they're, they're done. You might say, oh, well, I need to make $300,000. Why do you need to make $300,000? It just sounds good, right? But if you're telling me, oh, well, I want to be able to invest and, get into, and, and to have a, a financial freedom and all that stuff, $300,000 isn't going to do it. Your plan to accomplish that is what's going to do it. And then when you really draw it out and it's clear and you pencil it out on paper and it makes sense, you research, you do your due diligence, you talk to other professionals, they help you enhance your strategy, you could probably do it for $100,000 and you're sitting there chasing $300,000. You see what I'm saying? A lot of times we say we want something, but we have no idea how to achieve it. So it, you're not even doing the thing that you think you should be doing to get there. You're chasing the wrong thing. Just like when people start trying to justify their pricing, they're going off on something completely different, like emotion. And now we've cracked the code on what, emo what the price is, right? Well, you guys remember what the price is? Whatever someone's willing to pay. Mm -hmm. Whatever someone's willing to pay. Nope. No, what the price, is, that the seller, why the seller is saying that's their price. What is it? It's the emotion that they have around their end goal. See? Who else in this industry can tell you that? Right. Nobody. Nobody. Yeah. They're, they're gonna have you talking about some other shit. That's not gonna get you anywhere. <laughs> this is powerful. It is. It is. They're yeah. gonna destroy their arguments to the point where they, they're not gonna fight or resist. They're gonna be like, oh, you take over. They're not gonna challenge you, right? Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, you tell me. You do this then, yeah. since you, since I don't have the answers and you haven't told me, but just the questions you're answering are convincing me that I don't know what I'm doing. So if you're able to ask, ask me these questions, logically it makes sense that you have the answers. Right. Okay, but this is how we get there. Okay, so that's what you need to figure out. Why aren't you making calls? Okay. I know why I'm not making calls. Why? Well, because I, I haven't been able to lately. Um, well, okay, the lead thing. But um, I'm gonna get my leads fixed today. So. Okay. So you haven't been making calls in the last few weeks because of leads? That and um, just I had personal things that I had to take care of. Right. That, you know, took precedence. Okay. But I'm just saying, though, if you had a strong purpose for work, then this is, this is my point. If you're just doing it for the money, it's not, you're going to roll out of bed late, you're going to go to the wrong meetings and all that right. stuff, yeah. right? Your purpose should be giving you energy and drive, mm -hmm. especially when you really figure it out. Yeah. There's no reason to waste any time. You, you could do it. Regardless. You could yeah. do it in a third of what you think you really you need. Yeah. yeah. Right. Matter of fact, you could actually end up doing different type of works to get there a lot faster. There's a whole level, another thing that I'm talking about, right? But what I'm saying is that you shouldn't have any excuses. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could. 
But if you're telling me that you really want it and you have a strategy, yeah. and then it's backed by a strong purpose for your work, you'll make it happen. Exactly. You see how it all ties together? I'm showing you guys how to really build your business. It's not, oh, go make 100 calls, go pass out a bunch of flyers, go hold open houses. They're going hard on you guys right now to hold open houses. Definitely. Hard. Yeah. And we already know 1% of people actually get business from the open houses, right? right? Because they have no real skills. Even the broker managers have no real skills. Right. They should be able to pick up the phone and put all you guys to work and keep you excited and keep you working and strategizing on deals, but they can't. All they can tell you is go pass out flyers, Go to this meeting, buy this website, listen to my sponsors because they're paying my office rent, right? Eat the bread, donuts, and pizza, and the coffee. No energy. That is so true. Yeah. We're having a real conversation. Yeah. And then to Charles, can I say, just to be honest, a little nervous. About being successful? Now, we have, now we're actually having a real conversation. Yeah. Because people would say, "Oh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm," they're, 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 um, they're f afraid of rejection or failure, but that's not true. Yeah, I don't think that's what it is. But I feel like the same way with her. I don't mm -hmm. know if it's more like a, a fear of success, possibly. Mm -hmm. I guess that's what it is because there's no reason, like with all these tools and everything that we have, we shouldn't be able just to be just doing everything we need to do. <laughs> you know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So now we're getting to the real, the real yeah. issue is that you're afraid of being successful. What that means. You might, what if you start making a lot of money and then you can't hold on to it? Or your life right. changes and you have to go back to being average and mediocre again, right? right? That's the real, that's what, what's still with the real thing that's stopping you? Well, no, the real thing that's stopping me is I know my life will change. It, mm -hmm. Because I'm the type of person that I, I, I hold on to money. So it's not that my life, the things around my life, I know it will change. In what way? Um, uh, um, I mean, positive and negative, you know, because there are people who maybe aren't doing as good or think, you know, like, oh, she's changing or mm -hmm. she, you know. Right. That's what you have to deal with. Your strategy for your business was actually be dealing with that. Do you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what's stopping you. It's not the phone calls. It's not the leads. Right. What's the real psychological, deep-rooted issue? So now, if someone says, what's your strategy for your business? You're like, oh, well, I'm going to do this, and I got this pamphlet and this contract. And it's like, that person is not really in clear dominance. And we talked about that on Sunday, what clear dominance is, right? Yeah. So imagine that. Someone says, what's your strategy for your business? And you start talking about handling the people in your life, preparing for the successes coming your way. That's gonna blow them out the water. So now we got somewhere. This is what I want you to work on building. That's your strategy for your business. Your business is not doing making phone calls and all that stuff because you're not gonna get anywhere. You haven't dealt with the real thing that's stopping you from being successful. When you clear that up, your closing ratio, everything's gonna go through the roof. You're gonna work a lot less harder and get a lot more results. Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> I think we probably all know the same thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I want you to work on that. Because that's your strategy for your business. Okay? Thanks for coming up. Nice job, buddy.